It's the show that sucks with your hosts Harrison and Hanzo Gonzo. See, uh, see what kind of place we're catching. You talk down. to talk to Art if you want to get that. Done. Yeah, if you need to contact Spooky, <laughs> you need to talk to Arturo. He's his secretary. So, oh wow, this is for everyone. If you want to talk, contact Spooky at and might see Furby. Just ask him the question and he'll relay it for you. He's very good at that. Oh, Arturo's the girl Friday in that business? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> With special guests from around the fighting game community. Is he going to answer? Yeah, no? On <laughs> Oh, hey. <laughs> from the dead. Oh, are you crying? What happened? Uh, I forgot it was Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> And my phone's charging. You are a terrible bison. How do you forget it's Tuesday? The worst part is you retweeted the tweet that said it was tonight. <laughs> you <laughs> retweeted it. Now for your hosts, Harrison and Hanzo Gonzo. What's up, guys? Uh, hey. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can talk now, Hanzo. It's okay. It's okay. Now. <laughs> uh, it's number, number 47 of yep. the show that sucks. Before we start, I know you guys like to pirate the stream and upload it and give links before I am able to upload it. So please refrain yourself from doing that. Are you? Are you, you can continue what you're gonna say, Hanzo. I I can just tell. I can. I'll just say his name. <laughs> I'll do it right now. I don't care. Uh, so Bailey, stop uh, fucking linking videos, you idiot. Yeah. Is that what you want to say? Yeah, that's pretty much all I want okay. to say. Okay. Anyways, hey, look, I have a new background. Hey, yo, hey, uh, um, Hanzo's temporarily not homeless. Temporarily. So uh, uh, thank God the, the, the provider for the FGC uh, helped me out, actually. Uh, you know, the father of the FGC, uh, Jared from Twitch, he provided me with uh, some room. So I'm in San Francisco now. Uh, I'm living at Jared's house, and uh, it's great. So, <laughs> oh man, Jared's gonna get so many tweets right now. It's it's really fun living with them. We're talking about esports, We're talking about how icky fighting games are. It's great. I love Dota. So how icky they are. Icky. You just, <laughs> you just described the FGC as icky. Oh, maybe going to those bathrooms. Oh, oh my god. I got Haichu in the background. If you guys didn't know. I don't know what that is. It's Haichu, man. Come on. But yeah. Uh, so this is, uh, where I'm staying now, Jared's house for around six months, so. Probably gonna move in with Chris G next. We'll see. Oh man, that might be bad. (laughs) That might be bad. It might be good. There's like a 1% chance that that'll be good. (laughs) Well, I'll learn how to play against Morgan. Well, that's very true. Yeah, that'll be the one upside. Um, but anyways... We're back. I'm not on the streets anymore. I have some homeless stories. Uh, I saw a banana peel and I ate it. So you want to talk about TGS now? Okay. Since uh, you actually watched stuff other than Capcom Cup? Yes, I did. Um, Metal Gear Solid Five had a demo. Uh, it was showing Ground Zero. If you guys aren't familiar, it's the set piece before the actual game. Uh, Tanker in Metal Gear Solid 2, etc. Virtual Choice Mission in Metal Gear Solid 3. They were showing some gameplay of it, and it was uh, how how stealth free roaming works. And uh, because they actually made Metal Gear Solid like GTA, where it's an open world. Really? Yeah. And it's everyone was like confused about how that would work, and they were showing gameplay of it, and it looks really, really cool. Like, you can go through, like, you can infiltrate a base however you want. You can, like, duck in a barrel. You can just, like, shoot guards. You can, you know, do whatever you want. I might actually, really free I might actually want to play it now. Dude, it looks really good. Um, the only thing I didn't like about the demo was um, there's, like, a slow-mo mechanic where I don't I don't know the extent of it because it was in Japanese. So I don't know, like, when it activates. But sometimes there's slow-mo and you can, like, shoot an, uh, an enemy. That's kind of dumb. I don't like slow-mo. Yeah, it seems like it's in every game now. Yeah, I know. Like all of them. But whatever, I guess. But uh but yeah, it looks really it looks really fun. I'm interested to see what they do with it further. It's not done yet, obviously, but Didn't you also say the Witcher 3? They There is there is a leak Witcher, Witcher, Witcher 3 footage if you guys care cuz I love Witcher 2. It's one of my favorite games I've played recently. Uh it looks 
looks it looks unfinished, obviously, but the graphics are amazing. It looks just, like just like Witcher. It looks just fucking. There's like there's subsystems are put in the game where like you can only see certain things. So like you can track down beasts uh, by like activating vision and like you can track them down yourself and shit like that. And like you can see someone in the town like was fucking werewolves and shit. Like you ran them out, shit like that. Um, so the game's legit. It looks good. Uh, there wasn't much combat, but it was uh, pretty fluid from what I saw. It's more open. It's a lot bigger now too, right? Yeah, it's a lot bigger. Uh, I think. I think they were saying they wanted to do it like, because uh, like it wasn't. In the first one, it was like three acts, and I think they still want to keep to that. But I think they're gonna make each act like double the size, pretty much. But we, I don't know. They might, it might be five acts. I don't know. Hope one day I'll be able to play it, uh, Witcher Two. One day my computer yeah. won't suck. Also, um, Dark Souls Two had a lot of uh, stuff. Epic Name Bro on YouTube had got to actually play test it for twenty minutes, and if you follow Dark Souls at all. Epic Game Bros, the fucking uh, Maximilian of the the fucking scene. So like, uh, he was of Dark Souls? Described pretty pretty much. Uh, he does lore videos for it. That's cool. Um, he got to play it, and he said it was really responsive. He really liked it. Pairing's a little different. Uh, it's pretty much a Souls game. There's stats now, uh, like they that affect like casting time and swing swing rate, and shit like that. So, uh. It looks really interesting. It's still a Dark Souls game, so if you're worried about it being casualized, then he said not to. So I'm I'm hyped for it. It's still gonna be uh, hard as fuck. It Dark Souls is not that hard. I, I know, but it's not that hard. It's 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 it requires you to try. That's all it does. It just requires you to try. And not many games require you to try. So Pretty much, I guess for the most part. Yeah, that's the only thing that people are like. Oh, I died three times. Fuck this game. Like, yeah, you're gonna die a lot, you know. Uh, but other than that, I think Dragon Guard Three had a trailer released recently. Uh, I know no one likes that game probably, but I love the original Dragon Guard, so I'm trying to get it. Plus, I'm trying to get a PS3 for Guilty Gear and um, what's the other fighting game? PS3. What? What is there another fighting game for PS3 besides Guilty Gear? Uh, I don't think so. All right, just guilty. Then. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, the the uh, Mega Gear Solid Four. That's the other fighting game. Good job. All right. Um, but uh, yeah. So that was the only game stuff that I cared about. Really, I don't think you watched too much game things. I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. It's not Capcom. It. You don't care. That's what Chad said. I'm not going to deny that. <laughs> you like Rockstar, though. <laughs> well, when How's it comes GTA to fighting... 5? How's it's... GTA 5? It's... It's pretty amazing. I have to admit. It's just so in-depth, and there's just so much stuff to do. I'm never buying it. You're never buying it? That's a shame. No, why? Why? It's a bad game. Why is it a bad game? Because it's American. Wow. That's your excuse. Yeah, I'm xenophobic. Got a problem with that? Isn't Do you Dota, have a problem with xenophobes? Isn't Dota 2 American? That's Norwegian. I don't no. know. Yeah. I don't know. I, it's probably, uh, I'm xenophobe. You know why? Because I hate Hitler. Argue that. Ethnocentric. Fucking. I don't know. What are you talking we're, about? We're just saying words from sociology. You're just saying big words <laughs> that 99% of the FCC doesn't understand anyway that you can get away with saying. Ethnocentrism? I hate Nazis. Hey, Malaysians. Anyways, uh, just kidding. I like Malaysians. I don't know what, where we just went off. <laughs> Harrison, stop distracting me. <laughs> I, I just, uh, I just want to say that Puzzle and Dragons won the God. What is it? They have like their own Japan Game Awards. I don't. I guess it was around the same time as TGS, but it yeah. won the. Mm, Minister of Economy, Trade, and Industry Award, which I'm assuming means I made a shit ton of money. Duh. Yeah, so. You said it won Best Game. I lied. Yeah, if it won it won, best a, game, it won a Special Award. I don't know what... A spe it just says Special Award. So, I don't know. No, <laughs> the 
game of the year was Animal Crossing New Leaf for 3DS. So really, yeah, get blown up, Puzzle and Dragons. Mm, okay. But anyways, that stuff happened. Capcom Cup, probably the hypest tournament since Evo, hands down. Everybody got blown yes. up. Yep, uh, I was watching it. I believe you were too. Cabbage turned Daigo into kimchi. I know that reference doesn't make any <laughs> sense because neither of them are Korean, but I thought that's pretty funny. And then Cabbage got beat by Choco Blanca. Ironically, Choco Blanca was the highest placing EG member there. Didn't she get fourth? She got fifth or seventh. That's still hella good. She she, she, she fucking placed better than everyone else? She mashed out electricity like nobody's business, and it worked all of the time. Hey, it's, that, it's called Yomi. It's called Yomi. She got fifth. Someone in chat confirmed it. Um, but yeah, Choco, uh, Choco's play is uh, unorthodox, to say the least. I'll say it. It's fucking crazy. But, like, she gets wins off of it, so, I mean, I can't hate, so, you know. Uh, also, Infiltration lost to Juso. And Juso made a run uh, to top eight. He did he get third? I think he got third. He was beating the people. Tokido also. Yeah, that was really close. Yeah, Juso coming out. I don't. I really don't know Juso. I knew uh, Cabbage from SBO, but I really didn't know Juso. So that was a surprise for me. Beating the infiltration. Apparently nobody Tokido. did. That's what Mike Ross was saying. Okay. Just some random Sakura in Japan. Um, not so random anymore. Well, at least that we don't know. They, yeah, they could. They probably know. Who he um, was. but yeah, then uh, second uh, was actually Mago. Mago doing really well in a tournament. That's really weird. And the crazy part is they did a uh, Mago did an exhibition with Fudo, and he got bodied by Fudo. Yeah. And then Mago ended up beating Fudo in the actual tournament. That rope a dope man. So that's pretty the, cool. Uh, the old download in a set. That's All this trick. The, the old part. American. All this trick in the book. But yeah, Mago doing really well in the tournament. Surprised a lot of people. Uh, not surprising a lot of people. The God. The yeah. one and only. Dude, he's 2D God. Like. No, I'm talking about Hatani, man. Oh, well, yeah, him too. He's a God. He is a God. He's the, one of the gods of Japan, man. He's ridiculous. That guy is ridiculous. Had a really cool set with Mago. I believe. Was it reset? There's no resetting. It was remember? It was, oh, yeah. Oh, it yeah, was yeah, out yeah. of one. Oh man. That was close then. It was Which like is, really close. It was, that's where the blow blow up started. When it's out of one. There's no losers bracket. Yeah. Or single limb. It's I think it was it was like two out of three and then At least top, it was two out of three. Top eight. It was first to five. Yeah, first to five. Which was sick. But yeah. kinda took a while at the end, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, it did, but I mean it only took a it's while more... with, uh, with Mago and Fudo, because it was like so... last round, last game, last round, last game for like forty minutes. That mirror's so boring too. It was like, whoop, it's whoop, all about whoop, whiff punishing. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, it was really fun to watch. Hatani did the most nasty axe kick I've ever seen in my life. He did a cross up, just hit the back of their neck axe kick. On Fudo, I mean uh, Mago, and it was just like, ugh. Cross yeah, Makoto kick. can do that on me too, which is stupid. That's so nasty. Like, I would never expect to get by that, ever. And it's totally 100% you can't get out of that. <sighs> so you, I think the only the only way you can get out of it is if you hit like a crouching normal. But that's just asking for that's, trouble. Yeah, 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 you can just land and do whatever But it you beats want. reversals, it beats ultras, it beats focus attack, it beats back dashes. It beats like everything. Yeah, that and that it, and kick. it crosses up, or it's <laughs> or it's unblockable. I saw it and I just got up out of my chair. Like what? <laughs> that shit gets me hyped. Just like stupid nasty shit. Ugh, it's gross. Ugh, and yeah, then like was... when I think it was three to four or something like that, and he crossed him over for the first time with the forward heavy kick, and then grabbed him in the corner. That's, That's common though. I know, but. It's nice to see people use day one tricks. I guess. Super day one. That was like day negative one. Day um, negative one. 
But yeah, that was, this is probably the sickest tournament. You guys haven't checked it out. Go to Nico. Nico Nico has it. No, it's twitch.tv slash Capcom Fighters. Twitch.tv slash Capcom Fighters has it. But I Nico. don't know. Maybe they have it? I don't think they do. Cause... I wouldn't try finding it on Nico. If it's on Twitch, just go there. <laughs> because uh, Nico's kind of uh, convoluted just for yeah, Bakajak. Yeah, it's, it's there. Twitch.tv slash Capcom Fighters. I don't know if what's the deal with YouTube yet, but it's all there. Twitch.tv slash MadCats is the Japanese if you want actual good commentary. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Get blown up, Z. E. 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 Z was just going off too hard, man. <laughs> Z was fucking going off, man. I love I... him, but <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, man. At least he knows Street Fighter. Yeah. So he only goes off like 99% of the time. Anyways. That was the hypest tournament since Evo. The exhibition, you want to talk about the exhibition? Uh, Daigo blowing up infiltration? I knew it. Knew it would happen. You know why? Oh, I knew he'd win. Dude, he's taking these exhibitions so much more seriously than everybody else right now. Daigo. Topanga? You see Daigo and Topanga? That dude is like, he's focused. You know? If he knows who he's playing, she's done. Especially he can, in long He can study you. And he's a nurse. He went to school. He knows how to study. He's not a nurse anymore. I, I had he? this oh, he's I had not a nurse? internal struggle. Because so I don't know. I don't know if he's a nurse anymore. But he's a best-selling author. He's fucking sponsored. He, gets he wrote cool. a book. He knows how to study. I guess. No, I'm just saying, like, is he still working as a nurse? That's my, kind of, that's my question. Because, like, he's the best-selling author in Japan. He gets, goes, flies to book signings. He wins fucking tournaments. It's good amount of cash. Escapism21 in chat says no, so I'm just gonna, I'm going to go with that. Yeah. I believe that guy. Because I was just, I was sitting there. I was like, this guy's a fucking nurse. Am I getting a fucking sponge bath from fucking Daigo? I, I don't know how I feel about that, you know? Just like, get the fuck, dude. You're looking at my dick. Oh, man. Would you have a sponge bath with Daigo? Would you let him give you one? You'd have to, actually. I don't know. He's, like, shorter than me. That'd be really weird. You'd have to, though. Why? Can you really deny that? Daigo giving you a sponge bath? You could be the one person in the world it happens to? Obviously not. He's not, he's, just, it's, just, it's not like just, I'm going to be the only one he's be, ever going to give a sponge bath to. Just be ready for the new experience, Harrison. Just be accepting of the new experiences you can have with Daigo sponge bathing you. Huh? Uh, that's just weird. How's it weird? It's weird. If I, I was just... if I was crippled and I physically couldn't sponge bath myself, then wow. yes. It's not it's not gay or anything, Harrison. I know it's not gay. It's not, it's it's not about weird. the penises. All right. <laughs> it's about the connection <laughs> between you and Daigo. <laughs> <laughs> we bonded. The connection. Here, I hit my mic. <sighs> It's got to be more adventurous, Harrison. It's our problem it's in, in this relationship. I'm always oh the bottom. God. Moving on. You're always the person <laughs> getting sponge bath by Daigo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, moving on, I guess. TGS was sick. I liked it. It's actually getting a lot smaller every year. It's becoming a... It's actually a, a bad thing for TGS is... Uh, there's less developers for big games in Japan now because mobile games are taking over. Hence Puzzle and Dragons. Uh, hence Puzzle and Dragons. So TGS has less and less exhibitors every year, but they have more attendance every year. So it's like this weird dichotomy that they have going. So I don't know. I wouldn't take a trip to TGS only for t Japan, but like I'd much rather go to GDC or, you know, E3. What's the, what's the one that's in San Francisco? GDC. Yeah. Well, That's the one. Go to that, Pat works there. Francisco. Pat the flip. Versus was here last year. Yeah, first was here. I want to go with first. It'd be hell sick. Just hitting on ladies. Nerd better, ladies. Better English than me. Yeah. <laughs> Super awkward. <laughs> Does he? He has really good English, dude. He always says. He doesn't he... know how to say Cody, but other than that, he's got really, <laughs> <laughs> he's got really Versus. good English. He's gonna listen to this tomorrow and just be. Go to go. Um, but yeah. Um, so Capcom Cup, the qualifier was Hatami. So we have 
Sien, Haitani, Krishi, Krishi. And that's it. And then there's like a million qualifiers. There's five more. No. Uh, They're all in Asia. Is there five more? Oh wait, no. I think there's there's gotta be one in Europe, right? Yes. There's one in Europe. Okay, so there's four in Asia. The one in America was D V C and Evo, I guess. Um Oh, Saco, I guess. Saco. Oh yeah, that's right. You keep that qualified was at the Brazil. Yeah, 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 yeah. So ah, so there's only four more. It's gonna be sick. Yeah, they're the I'm looking forward to the UK one. Uh, the Asian ones are just probably gonna be Daigo and Infiltration trying to snipe one. <laughs> so I, I think feel. so too. Uh, just trying to snipe one from like Singapore or something. Uh, Matt Katz um, will fly out Daigo to qualify. Yeah, I feel. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's too good to go to San Francisco to compete because that's gonna be off the hook. I'll Do you think and... it was kind of weird that it was single OLM? No, it's, it was ran by. No, because they were they were crunching on time as as it was. It was a sixty four man bracket, right? Yeah, they were barely they barely made it for time. I like the blow ups though. Blow ups are great though, like that that keeps so many people interested. When people heard Daigo was out, you know what I mean? More people turned in. Like what? Like an infiltration got out. Like what? And, like Choco Bonkers beating people. Like people like that's that's cool shit, you know? Yeah, exactly. It's not like the same old same old. Obviously, it's not a balanced tournament wise. Oh, of course not. But it's not balanced. No one's no one's saying that. But it's just fun. Um, but yeah, Capcom Cup is coming up. Uh, the next qualifier is in, I believe it's the Europe one. Uh, Shallow Showdown's coming up soon. So this Man, tournament. they gotta. All these gotta be happening pretty quickly then, because yeah, Capcom Cup Canada is Cup. next weekend. Next, is it this weekend or next weekend? I think it's this weekend, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. We'll find out. Um, <laughs> but isn't the Capcom Cup, uh, Capcom Cup Finals in December? Yes, in San Francisco. Yeah. Pretty down. Is it the same spot? It might be. I want to say it is. I well, I mean, they're but probably. I'm not 100 sure. I just that's was okay. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. I got hassled by security a lot. You did? Yeah. Initially. Remember, I don't let you come let you in. You didn't see all the security hassles I got. Whatever. Like, oh. <laughs> it's not, I always get it. And Evo, too. Everyone, that's everyone, though. God. I was so mad the last day of Evo. I walk out to go to the bathroom. And right as I walk through the door, I was like, shit, I forgot my pass. And so I go to the bathroom. And uh, I come back and I just try and like walk in. The guy's like, I can't let you in. And I'm just like, dude, my pass is on the table over there. Just let me in. He's like, no. And so I had to have Martin come and give me the pass. And it was during grand finals. <laughs> I was so mad. Gotta hold it. I couldn't. Um, yeah, what else happened? Something else happened? Yipes announced Curly Mustache team tournament two that. Oh yeah, yeah. That was that was really recent actually. That was like a couple hours today. ago. Yeah. Uh, so the tournament is going to be held somewhere in New York. It's not next level from what I know. Um. I think it's going to be in some lounge. I'm not entirely sure. No, it's going to be at a tournament, a place at Northeast Championships. Oh, it's at NEC. Yes. So it's basically what they did that final round. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that was cool. Kind of. I didn't participate because I was in select. I heard it was kind of. Was it rain? But it was badly? fun to watch. It was ranged really. It was. It was just all over the place, kind of. And the matches really hype and stuff. And it was good to see some players represent their region, as always. But you like, shouldn't be playing that hard. You sh no, yeah, he shouldn't play. You shouldn't play too hard before a tournament because Green Ace beat a lot of people in uh, the <clears throat> curly mustache, but he lost to the same people in the tournament. So it's like, <sighs> I'm glad I didn't play, uh, even though I got body that final round. But like, it was fun. It was fun not having to play though. I think it was <laughs> personally. It was cool. I mean, whatever. But it's a team I, tournament, I'm like you more. said. Always, and people sandbag in team tournaments. 
So I mean, I don't it's know. Uh, it's good it's, for an. It's it's good for having it at another event. Yeah, and there's money way. involved. Um, because they always have like a dumb team long. tournament before, like on Friday anyway, or some shit. So might as well just make it exciting. Yeah. Um, there's not that much money involved with the team curly mustaches, so I mean people don't go in that hard. But I mean it's still it's still decent. It's just like pay for your food that weekend, I guess. But like. Yeah, this, so that would be an event, so people can look forward to Noel Brown representing New York. <laughs> um, yeah, that's 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 announced. That's pretty much it. Yep, is that all that happened? Well, the one thing we didn't talk about last week is Xbox. It's oh, yeah, 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 I forgot. Evo has Xbox. Xboxes now. I yes. guess that's the correct term, I would say. So, Evo is on 360s. Microsoft was like, Wah! and just like... I can't see what you're doing. Oh, I'm doing like the, the money, like yeah. I'm I'm flinging hundred dollar bills, except they're, like, forty pound Xboxes. So you do it, you do it, stuff. All right. Um. Yeah. Um. Microsoft is sponsoring Evo, presumably, since they have a shit ton of Xbox 360s now, and they're going to be running Capcom games on 360. Microsoft's like, fuck it, we're trying to get rid of them, and then just. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um. They're going to be running Capcom's for sure on 360 because I don't think anyone besides Patrick thinks PS3 is good for Capcom games. And Patrick sucks, so... We... Yeah, fuck him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've been a Street Fighter, so he's, he's whatever. Um, so we don't know if they're going to be ran for Blaze Blue anime games, 3D games, because 3D games actually run better on PS3. I bet Taken will be on PS3. Tekken? Tekken. Not t- Taken, I like isn't the game? I call it Taken. I don't know why. Isn't there a game called Taken? <laughs> There's a Coming movie out? called Taken. Yeah, where's my where's my daughter? Fine, um, Tekken Tag Tournament Two. You. Wow. Say the full name, nerd. Um. Yeah. Uh, I think it'll so, be on uh, PS3. Yeah, I, I I'm pretty sure that they still have a PS3. They just keep them in a box. Really, they really don't care for them. They're just in a box, um, so they can they can just roll them out for uh, any games that require them, like like uh, Blaze Blue, the new editions only PS3. Same with Guilty Gear, uh, the new uh, Guilty Gear. So if we'll that it. is an Evo, it has to be PS3. It has to be PS3. Yeah. yeah. So I they're mean, not going to be that big of a deal. To... No, no. If, even if seconds. they're sponsored by Microsoft, just have Microsoft's logo turned off. When Sony comes up, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Even if Sony came up, if Sony's not sponsoring, yeah, fuck them. You know, like <laughs> just say Microsoft. It's like say you're playing it on 360, even though it's Blaze Blue. It just kind of sucks that it took them this long. Yeah. Um, I really don't care about console preferences, to be honest. I think it you- just it makes things easier for everybody else. Because before, nobody was like. Nobody, absolutely nobody said, guys, I think we should just, you know, we should just play it on PS3. Nobody I, said that. Everybody I, said, guys, let's play it on PS3 because Evo is playing it on, playing oh, on PS3. Yeah. Nobody, yeah, nobody said, nobody enjoyed playing on PS3. I feel like. If I had a At choice, I would choose Xbox. Okay. So, I yeah, now ch- there's no, now everybody already has Xboxes anyway. Yeah. I, th- most, I think most, most people... Capcom games are on PC or Xbox. So. Yep. Street Fighter PC and stuff. Um, but yeah, so with that announcement, we'll see if Killer Instinct is in uh, Evo. It's going to take a shit ton of Xbox Ones to convince them. But I mean. You yeah, because they're not going to want to pay like 20 grand for. No one wants to pay $500 I... for that game. <laughs> It's just a simple fact. I'm sure it might be a good game. It could be the best game ever. It could be literally the second coming of Jesus. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's on Xbox. Yep. It's like PlayStation All-Stars. Yep. It, it died before the game came out. Just rip. It was rip. Rip. PlayStation All-Stars is supposed to have fucking... Oh my god, I just literally just blanked on his name. Dart. Dart from Legend of Dragoon in it. If they, if they had that launch, I probably would have bought a PS3 and played it. 
So I don't think you know how much I love Legend of Dragoon, Harrison. Yes, I I know how much okay. you love a game that I have no idea what it is. Legend of Dragoon? Come on, dude. Uh, fuck you. You're never going to buy GTA Five anyway, so... Legend of Dragoon is better than GTA V. I can guarantee that. <laughs> I should just guarantee. end the stream right now. Guarantee that. I'm turning Does off Does Grand Theft Auto have combos? Huh? Does it have links? No? Does it have links? Who the fuck cares? I can jump out of a helicopter. <laughs> I can jump off a dragon. <laughs> you can jump off a dragon. I can't. Um, it's an old RPG on PS1. So if you're curious. Uh, uh... Did you want to go into questions or no? I just want to say one thing before we hop into questions. Can, <laughs> what can, kind of question was that first? Thought? <laughs> like just <nasty>. I I, <laughs> I fooled myself. Uh, so I've been streaming and I don't have partner on I Play Whatever. So when I stream at like 3K, if Barsus comes in the channel from fucking Argentina or whatever the hell he's from, he can't watch the stream because his internet isn't good enough. And I don't have partner, so he can't lower the quality of the stream, so he's just fucked. So why... I, I don't understand why that's still even a partner-only thing. It takes up bandwidth. I don't care. I don't give a shit. Like, it they totally, care. They give a shit. It totally fucks over anybody who's not partner. You know that automatically does that for every video ever? <clears throat> YouTube. YouTube. <sighs> Just saying, guys. If you work at Google or YouTube, please contact me. <laughs> Pieces of shit. I've been trying to talk to fucking. That's a good point. I'll just time. fucking stream on YouTube. You should. I don't know why you don't. I should. I should what's just the, start doing what's that. the difference? I don't know. When, especially when starting out, what's the difference? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're if you're right. on a clean slate, it's more beneficial on YouTube. Yep. And if you're not on a clean slate, it's more beneficial going. <laughs> And more people, like, it's easier to search, yeah, well, like, archives. videos or quote-unquote archives. So, it's a lot easier to search for that stuff on YouTube. Yep. If you guys have any questions, you can send them at Hans or Gonzo or at, at Harrison SBA. Let's go into them, I assume, since nothing really happened besides CGS. Something did happen. There was a Marvel thing I watched. There's that Marvel band thing. You want to talk about that? No, no. I will give you 30 <laughs> seconds. It's a neat idea, but it's kind of dumb. Uh, it's not for tournaments 2 out of 3, obviously, or 3 out of 5, whatever. It's just a fun mini game, if you will, for exhibitions, maybe. It's a good idea for exhibitions, but not a good idea for tournaments. Stop I like how you're just not explaining it. it at all. What? It's like you can ban, you can ban a character... Uh, like a MOBA style, like Dota or League of Legends. So I can ban Thor, and you can't pick Thor. And you can ban Taskmaster, I can't pick Taskmaster. And then we play a fucking game. That's the Marvel band rule that's, that's being pitched around. It's fucking and stupid. I know you're saying it's stupid. And it's I'm whatever. saying it's fucking stupid. Why? Explain it. Explain why. Put you on the spot. People play fighting games so they can play what they want. Yeah. So what? So somebody's gonna ban my favorite character? If somebody banned Cody, I'd be like, fuck this, flip over my stick and just walk out and then demand for my money back. I'd be so pissed. Oh, yeah, I spent like three years playing for this one character and then some douchebag knew who I was on Twitter and he knew my character and so he banned Cody. I'm like, oh. It's never gonna happen with Street Fighter Harrison. It's for team games. Like, you ban like one character. Like, you can know It's still stupid. Characters. It's still dumb. It's not even for tournaments, dude. Why are you even caring? They're doing a tournament. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't invite <realize> that. <laughs> it's not supposed to be for tournaments. It's supposed to be for like exhibitions. Maybe like t first, like top eight situation or something. Anyways, it's dumb. It'll last. I think it's an interesting idea. It'll last for the and next it's it should be hours. fun against some some players like. Two characters like Shady K versus like, um, fucking Chris G. In a, in a, and you ban a character after every loss. It's it's just that'd be a, fun to watch. It's just a reason to watch your stream. That's all it is. It was the same thing with the no X factor bullshit thing. That's just dumb. <laughs> I can explain why that's dumb. 
Americans. <laughs> okay, is that dumber than banning yeah. a character? Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell me how that's dumber than banning a character. Because you're just like, it's supposed to be in the game. Like, banning a character, you, you mean like how character. my character is supposed to be in the game? Maybe you didn't unlock him yet, okay? Maybe you don't have the PP to unlock him, you know? Oh, Jesus Christ. I know I'm right. Ah. Uh, Red Mage, Drew Red Mage, <laughs> Drew, Drew Red Mage asks, uh, Capcom Cup Hype this weekend showed how amazing high level SF4 can be. Do you think the single limb, limb setup helped build that? I think we touched upon that. But, um, yeah, a little bit. Sure. A little bit. Uh, it caused more blow ups, more funny things to happen. Whenever there's a blow up in Street Fighter, it's just the most delicious thing. I say, that, I, say was, game, really. I say it's pretty smart. I think it's like on par with you know banning characters and banning X Factor. Like, <laughs> uh, people are asking me what it's like being a hobo. It's not fun. <laughs> Let me just tell you straight up, <laughs> not fun. I was homeless uh, for a period in South Central LA during Revelations. Uh, that was my first major, and I forgot to book a hotel for like two days it's not fun it's not fun being uh, next to Compton okay first of all first of all explain to me how you forgot to book a hotel well I thought I did and then, like so like you know how you book a ho you put a reservation down and like it says it was this amount of money right yes so I didn't know they charged you at the hotel I thought they charged you in the thing so I, I spent money so on that hotel, so I spent money to stay at another hotel that was cheaper for the event, with the event rate, and they took my money right away. So I looked at my bank account and I had like a hundred dollars or something. I was like, all right, whatever. So like I get down there and I'm like you don't have enough money to stay here, dude. It's like one twenty a night. I'm like, Ugh. wow. So you remembered, but you were just you didn't manage your money wisely. I thought they took it out. That's the thing. Because I had cash in my house. If I booked a hotel me, and, like, saw my money be the same, it's, like, it's pretty pretty obvious. No, well, I booked the other so you one. Just, so you was, just don't keep track of your money. That's... <laughs> that's I'm too balling, man, sometimes. Look at, look at look my digs. You know? <laughs> I was, like, 17. Get off me. Drew Red Mage asks, can you give any insight on Cody Knife Tech? Is it all gimmicks? Team Pie stream had a Cody playing that used the knife a lot. Uh, it's kind of gimmicks. I oh, think yeah, the, the best poke is standing medium punch. Uh, He's using crouch medium a lot. It's pretty good too. It's not. It trades a lot, so I don't know. It's okay. I just like standing medium because it hits twice and it's zero on block, so you can kind of just mash it right. and the use the different speeds of the th like when you throw it because between low and or light punch and heavy punch the speed is like vastly different so people will, will throw the fast one a couple times and then throw a slow one and if they're full screen and they try to jump back just walk forward and I guarantee you they'll fall into the knife uh did you did you like that guy's Cody? Did you watch yeah, that? Yeah, it was it was all right. All right. There are some s decisions, like picking Ultra One, ever. Uh, he picked Ultra Two for the most part. No, he didn't. I don't think. Unless I'm thinking of a different. Pretty sure I'm thinking of the same Cody. It was versus Sanford. That's that. Oh, oh well, that's Christy, a fireball. Christy, Christy, I'm sorry. Okay, well he did. He he picked Ultra One versus Dudley when he did oh. that mirror or the, that exhibition, which is kind of weird because Ultra One really has no point in that fight. And you can Ultra Punish like everything with Ultra Two with Cody. Uh, do you have next question? Yeah. Um, the Hound is asking about my wife. Uh, she's currently in the garage. Uh, she's uh she's being crushed by a a bunch of my textbooks at the moment. Uh, I don't know if I can get her out anytime soon. She's kind of tucked away. So she's having fun. She's having a lot of fun. 
Uh, and for us asks, yo, where's the girl fight hype guys? SMH. Do you know what girl fight is, Harrison? Isn't isn't girl fight that one game from VXG? No, no. Wasn't is that it? Girl I fight? thought they showed it. At, no. I thought they showed it. Wasn't it? It the, looks like girl fight. Wasn't it the? I'm not looking at the chat. I'm the sure mobile fighting game. Wasn't that it? Girl fight. Is that the one that was at? No. I thought it was. I mean, that's the only one that comes to mind. No, it looks like that. I know you're talking about. It looks exactly like that. But it's just called Girl Fight. It's from Japan. It's just a weird 3D fighter. So, like, DOA? It's... Yeah. Worse. Worse. And that's hard. That's hard to say for me. Worse? Yeah. Jeez. Jared, uh, the truth is elusive. Uh, asks opinions on TA Moons. I don't know what that means. I don't know. <laughs> I think it uh, means is it good? I think that's yeah, what he's I asking. Moons. I love Moons. I don't know if you guys follow me on fucking Twitter, but <laughs> um, do you think his play style is good? Do you? Yeah, do you uh, I haven't fraud? seen his Modoc. I haven't seen his Modoc lately, but his Modoc previously when I was playing it is just ridiculous. Uh, his Taskmaster for the most part was good. He had a lot of disadvantages not having the assist that I have, so you don't see can perform in certain situations like I do, but he still clutches it out. That's why he's so good. I think he, um, I think he's got the tech. He's, he's got, got the defense. He's got he's the got movement. movement. I don't That's think he, he doesn't have the craziness thing. that some players have. Nah, he's not crazy. He's very calculated. Like, and he, I feel like you have to be things. somewhat crazy. Like, even if he's got a game ahead or something, he never does anything yeah, crazy. Yeah, he told me once when I was playing him, he said, never do the same mix-up twice. And I was like, why? <laughs> why would I not do that as a twice? Because that's the stupidest thing you could do, right? Just do the same shit. So they're not going to think you're going to do that, you know? See, I don't think he has... I don't think, he's, I don't think he thinks about being stupid like I think about being stupid. Because <laughs> I think being stupid is a strength sometimes. You know? I can. I can't count on my fingers how many times... I have landed three zoning punches in a row against somebody. <laughs> More times than I can count. It works. Being you just got to believe it works. Got a Mike Rossa, dude. You got a Mike, Mike Rossa. Rossa believes. Exactly. And he's, he's You famous. just got to believe. Good uh, question. Good question. Otherwise, I mean, he's white. So he's cool. He's not actually white, but I, I'll, I'll take him on the team. He's drafted. Um... Canadian Pyro asks, what's it like being a scrub and only knowing one character? Marvel bands. So I think he's <laughs> talking about you. Is he talking about me? You only I'm know three sure. characters. Okay, what's my other you character? You only know a Harrison? team. Where's my other character, Harrison? Just say it. If you don't say it, I'm going to fucking... Beautiful Joe. Crazy. <sighs> Harrison? <laughs> Wait, your other character besides your three characters? Yeah. Uh, Does no one remember me playing Hawkeye ever? Like, Jesus Christ, I've played him Hawkeye for... Your Hawkeye was so fucking terrible. Your Hawkeye yeah. is trash. <laughs> no. Oh, no. I was the first to start. I stole that... that. Fuck you. All right. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> you just ended that I made so conversation with, with Ryan I Hunt. stole. Oh, wait, wait. Ryan Hunter. Sorry, I just said Ryan Hart. Ryan Hunter and me made a shit ton of Hawkeye tech. So don't fucking tell me. I'm irrelevant. With that. Drew Red Mage asks, better Sakura, Chris G or Juso? Uh, Juso by like a million. Juso. 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 I don't think. It didn't, it didn't even take a brain cell to, to figure that one. Uh, and that's all of the questions I currently yep. have on my Twitter feed. <sighs> yep. Sorry, I, I I had to move, so I I really didn't do anything. <laughs> so uh, I don't know what to talk about. We could talk about how Breaking Bad is godlike, but Breaking I don't want to fill fifteen godlike. minutes with Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad is godlike. One more episode. Uh, they re. <laughs> Want me to start going shit out of the news? Want to start going? Start going ham? 
Dario Nathalas in Game of Thrones was recasted. I don't know who the the actor was, but he looks nothing like the other one. Uh, fucking, I think the uh, Arthur Dane, uh, the sword, sword of the morning, uh, Dawn is actually the sword that the the champion of the light uses, or whatever Aurora High or whatever his name is. I'm I'm subscribing to that theory officially. Dawn. Um, let's see. I think that's all that really matters in Game of Thrones right now. What? Don? That was a sick guy. No, that they recasted oh. that dude. <laughs> dude, he fucking decapitated those guys. Yeah, he was he cool. Decapitated, uh, decapitated his own guys and then brought it and basically he's like, I need to have sex with you right now. Here's these two decapitated heads. Yeah. That wasn't that was even a spoiler. Uh, at the truth of Lucifer asks, how does it feel to be irrelevant? It feels pretty good. It feels really good. I love no one mentions my name. Best Amy? Nope. Best Tasmus? Nope. Or mediocre Dooms? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you're best in, you're Amy a doom? Ta- I'm in not the even in the discussion. Dooms. I'm not even in the discussion for best Doom Amy. There's, Didn't you there's like fucking three that? people. There's three people. <laughs> 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 no one talks about me. It's great. I love it. Because like when I beat someone, it's like, oh, you, uh, you lost to Hanzo, you suck. And they feel bad. Yeah, that's fun. Dude, it's the NorCal option select. Well, I guess that's a terrible one. But <laughs> that I'm but you, you actually play Marvel, so you can't really do it. I play Dota at this point. I'm going pro in Dota, guys. I got picked up by Mineski. Dude, fighting games are dead right now. I feel like. <laughs> kind of right now. Capcom Cup is kind of saving it. Which is yeah. cool. I feel like it's awesome that the people that are making the game are supporting it and kind of kind of saving it at the moment. Actually, I think VXG kind of saved it. Really? People Why? still haven't gotten paid for VXG, by the way. Just an FYI for everyone. I thought it's okay. supposed to be until October, end of October. October 1st, I believe, is the cutoff date. When was it? It was in July, three months. Actually, you're right. <sighs> nah. If that's true, it's then we're gonna have a good show next week. As long as I say right now. Once, like, once it's a day late, I hear, I hear a rumbling that some of the players are not going to stay silent about it. So, but yeah, so uh, that'd be looking forward to. Well, Tuesdays. Guess when October first is. Well, Tuesday. It's Tuesday. <sighs> I think that's I think it's Destiny. If it is October. Man, Bull Tuesdays. They never fail. Oh, yeah. I, I totally forgot. I totally forgot. Um, Leo T. Sexy asks uh, about the Passion of Sphere Injustice. They're just released today. Um, I really like them. I think the Passion is really cool. Everyone's complaining that they are not, everyone being CD Jr., uh, complaining that they're not um, Buffy and Walkspeed. But at this point, it's like, eh, like I would love that, but it's not going to happen. So I understand it's their vision for their game, so I'm not going to dwell on it. Rather pull on the positives, like Superman getting nerfed pretty substantially from what I saw. He's not he's not terrible because they they're not gonna make him terrible because of just who he is. But uh, his uh, super is not fucking two frames full screen now. It's five frames and it's not an overhead or whatever the fuck it was. So I mean that's good. So he's not gonna just sit on meter and just punish you uh, for just whipping a jab full screen. And killing you with like 50% of your health. Uh, they normalized some of his damage, which I understand doesn't mean much. My mouse just died. Uh, it doesn't mean much, and but it's cool. Uh, they nerfed Black Adam a lot. They made his dive hit worse, which is awesome. They made his meter burn shit negative on block now. It used to be plus eight, it's negative one now, so that's a huge nerf for him. So they just can't sit there and be autopilot. And you can tell all the Black Adam players are getting butthurt about it, uh, like CD Jr. So it's it's great to it's great to see him get butthurt. I'm glad because I think Black Adam was the worst character, like the most broken character in my game, even more broken than Superman. Uh, Solomon Grundy got a buff in that you can't parry his command grab, and at Evo I lost because of that. I got parried like seven times in a match. Well, you can to... parry in that game. Uh, some characters, uh, Batman and uh... like Joker. Batman, Joker, uh, Killer Frost. You can, com- you can parry a command grab? Yeah. That's stupid. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. They fixed it. I don't know. 
But so I was like, I was doing some Oki, and like if I if I did a hit, I get parried. I was like, ah. Oh. So like I just went for a grab. I got parried. I was like, ah. Oh. So every time I went for a grab, it was just dumb. That's how I lost that. Uh, I would have made it out of my pools, but womp womp. Um, other than that, uh, I didn't really see anything too mind-blowing. Uh, they made Lobo a shit ton better, which, I mean, he needed. Um, so, I mean, I can see Lobo being played competitively now. I hope they fix the Zod glitch. Have you seen the Zod glitch, Harrison? No. So, the Zod glitch, they, this happened at Wednesday Night Fights multiple times, by the way. Let me just enlighten you on that. Uh, you do a move on the ground, you shoot a laser, and like fire spurts up off the ground, right? And uh, it hits multiple times. And it's supposed to be used to extend combos. Okay. So it hits like six. You have it spawn on the screen, and it just goes full screen and sits there in the corner. So you can manipulate the screen and put them in the corner, and then infinite box zone or infinite hit zone. This is happened multiple times in tournament, by the way. <laughs> I don't play it, so. It's great, dude. He's, everyone's so mad. It makes it makes the highest levels of mads that I've seen. Whatever. So. People play Marvel, so the entire game is broken. Yeah, but there's not something like in Street Fighter. If you just if, like you just did a glitch and you're an infinite block stun. That'd be so sick. <laughs> <laughs> is it? <laughs> uh. I think it's the answer questions. Yeah, I need to find one. I have one last one. Go ahead. How much would it cost for you to wear an L.A. Dodgers hat next week? Um, I just got a new car, so probably nothing at this point. I don't, I don't know. It would, it would have to... What the fuck does that mean? What the... I just... Nothing? I I would add, yeah. wear a Dodgers hat? No, I mean I don't. I don't think I would wear a Dodgers hat for anything. Okay, so you just word it like that. I thought you were gonna like wear a Dodgers hat for nothing. No, like, fuck that. Are you kidding me? No. I see. Yeah, see, I'm gonna wear a Raiders hat. Come on, fuck you, Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't watch football, so I don't really give a shit. He's a about... Raiders fan. He's a oh, Raiders. he is. Yeah. Wait, so Gibby's like, a Raiders fan. He's the antithesis of this show, basically. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. SoCal like doesn't have a football team. LA oh, Raiders. They, oh, they have a uh, LA Raiders. San Diego. They have San Diego. Yeah, San Diego oh, Raiders Chargers. used to be LA. They used to be an LA team. No. Oh. You didn't. Know I that. didn't know that because I'm not a football fan. <sighs> we have one comment that I think you'll enjoy on YouTube, Hanzo Gonzo. It's featuring yourself in a positive light for a change. Uh. Hanzo, I stumbled across your blog today and I enjoy, enjoyed your posts. Although I enjoy your trolling self, you make good points when you're not trolling. So maybe you should troll less, Hanzo. Maybe you need to take a break from trolling because of what happened the other day. But anyways, I was particularly interested in your post about sexism, sexism in the FGC. It's tough to get girls into into the community, but I have a low I have low hopes for the FGC to ever mature enough to entice girls to be a part of it. I was wondering what your thoughts are in terms of the FGC being able to accommodate female gamers in the future. I think we've talked about this like a million times, but... Yeah, uh, I like their words, entice girls, because that's the opposite of what the FGC would ever do. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't think that's happening. Uh, it's, it's, it's not going to happen, I don't think, in, in a while. I mean, it's, it's getting better uh, day by day, but it's still a long road. I mean... Esport events, like let me just use Dota as an example. They have lots of chicks there, and they're treated as equals because they play with them. They play with them all the time. They're teammates. They're like the content producers. There's lots of chicks in the community. You know, they're doing uh, interviews and whatnot. But there's not that many in the community for fighting games. So there's a boys club mentality that just gets generated, and it just perpetuates. Plus, I mean the people in the fighting game community are of lower social class generally just from a broad standpoint i mean there's rich people in the community i mean fucking people donate fucking hundreds of dollars and shit and like whole tournaments ceos have millions of dollars so um oh man i like, wish that were so true <laughs> so like uh 
it's uh, lower social classes generally have less respect for uh, like other people. I would assume. Like I, I don't know that sounds bad because I'm like I'm white and I'm saying like oh, I'm poor people, but I'm fucking poor too. So um, like it's 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 a whole thing. I don't know. I probably said I'm really terrible right now. <laughs> but it's just an off cuff response, I guess. I don't know if we talked about that like three episodes ago. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's called Nerd Josh. So if you want our thoughts about all that stuff. Be a guest on? Yes, on the show. Yahozo. Yahozy. Yahozy. So if you do want to, want to go check that out, you can go to iplaywinner.com, go to the podcast section, and check all those out. Uh, and then Demon 21207 says, Happy birthday, Hanzo, and good luck with getting kicked out. And rock on Harrison with GTA 5 and the new ride. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching the show. Thank you. That was the worst thank you I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, good luck, you're getting kicked out. Rubbing <laughs> in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. I always assume people are trolls. So you have to understand that. Um, especially on YouTube. I think these like some of these comments are legitimate. They're all genuine, pretty much. Except like well, this show sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this guy says, "Man, this shit is terrible. No views, no likes. Do yourself a favor and stop uploading this." <laughs> and then <laughs> this is the best part. The person who responded to that guy is called God Loves Me Six Six Six. How does it feel to have a prostitute as a mother? <laughs> so just these are our fans. These are our fans. I love our fans. They're the best. Well, I think that's that's it for the show. That sucks. Number forty-seven. You have anything to wrap it up with? Um, bye, dive kick. I don't know what you're doing. I'm not pleased. <laughs> that's. <laughs> uh. Anyways. You can, <laughs> that's gonna be in the show. Uh, show that's like number forty-seven. If you want, you can follow me at Harrison SBA. You can follow Hans Gonzo at Hans Gonzo. Make sure priority over both of those. Go and follow at iPlayWinner on Twitter. If you want to check out any of the previous shows, you can go to uh, iPlayWinner.com. Go to the podcast section. All of the shows are there in MP3 and YouTube format. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, what was the, what was the thing you said before? Like five seconds ago, don't buy dive kick. Is that what you said? Don't. I guess. Are you gonna like murder me if I say something? <laughs> Yo, Fred. Yes. <laughs> Peace, guys. <laughs> <laughs>